I was excited to see that our Retro Battle Stations had their own uh, dial of BBS with 300 board support. I was ready to get in on the action and see what I could get going here. Unfortunately, the uh, Apple II is not going to cooperate. It's not really the computer. Uh, we're back to problems with the acoustic coupler. Uh, we're going to have to make some adjustments and recalibrate. And this is really uh, less than pleasant. There's no documentation for this, and I've done a movie before. Uh, basically comes down to these two potentiometers that I am imagining allows for some swing in the transmit and receive frequencies. I'm working on this right now. Uh, there's an auto test built in, but if you get it calibrated for auto test, it doesn't mean anything in the real world. And that's what I'm finding. So I'm working on this and seeing if I can get um, a, through my uh, dial-up box for my local computer, uh, have this synchronized. Uh, for transmit and receive, see if we can get on level 29 once this is accomplished. Here on the floor, I got the Teltone line simulator, so I don't have to be calling up any BBSs to try this. That would make it pretty much impossible. That would put this uh, uh, acoustic coupler on station 29. My laptop is station 40, it's connected to a modern uh, USB modem. Uh, it is able to see characters coming in, so that looks okay. I'm sure it can be tweaked anyway. We can see a 300 board connection. On answer this is uh, answering at the acoustic coupler not originating and uh, I'm seeing a problem on receive though we're gonna take a look this is what receive is looking like on the computer so I'm gonna hit the letter a over and over again there's a s d f g h so yeah we got some definite problems we're gonna we're gonna tune this in so I dialed in the pot on the right, and it's just past the uh, halfway point, between halfway and three quarters. Now we'll take a look at the uh, Apple II. It's starting to look good now. There's A, there's S, D, F, G, and H. Let's go back to receive, see if we can get receive in the middle of the throw of the potentiometer. Yeah, it's interesting because this pot on the left, I moved to both extremes, has not affected transmit and receive in any way. Yes, I, I really don't know what it does. I'm, I'm going to bring it to the middle. In the next test, I'm going to flip to originate, and we're going to um, use the uh, rotary phone to dial into the uh, to the Teltone and see if we could get the computer to answer, which is uh, one of the challenges when dialing up to a BBS. Originate. So it looks like we have a connection, and we do, seeing A's coming back. So 300 board is working, is dial in. Let's dial in to level 29 and see what happens. I don't think it's compatible with this, with this modem personally. I think it's a modern modem that could go down to 300 board, but not going to work. I think I'm going to get the same thing I got before. There we go. Carrier detect. Receive. And that's it. It's gone. And I got nothing. So, I mean, I was able to check with my uh, Teltone that this acoustic coupler is working. But it is not connecting to the level 29 BBS. So, 
I gave it a shot. Maybe somebody else can check with their acoustic coupler and see if it could connect to this uh, BBS from our Retro Battle Stations. Just to show that this um, phone line works, I've got this dialing up with the Hayes Micro Modem that's inside the Apple II. And we could see that the phone line works absolutely fine because it's connecting, well, ANSI's not working fine, but you get the point. There is no phone line issue here at 300 baud. It came back down to this modem and that's why I wanted to test this to make sure I wasn't having any issues with the modem and calibrate this modem. And that this modem is working, I can't understand why it's not connecting to the BBS.